Hello everyone. Welcome to educators.com. This is Suri Prakash, your Unix trainer. This video is about basics of shell scripting. In this video, we will discuss about shell and different types of shells available in Unix and Unix like systems. And we also learn how to write and execute a shell script. As we discussed earlier, a shell acts as an interface between the user and uh, the kernel. Shell is a program that interprets the commands or the inputs provided by the user and processes them communicating with the kernel. So we can say that uh, shell is the one which acts an intermediary between the user and the uh, internal operating system. There are different types of shells available uh, in the Unix and Unix implementations. It is said that there are only two major implementations of shell. Uh, one is bond shell and the uh, other one is C shell. The rest of the shells have been uh, implemented from these shells. Bond shell was one of the major shells uh, used in the early versions of uh, Unix and it has been become a de facto standard. Bond shell was uh, de uh, developed by Stephen Bond at Bell Labs and it is said that uh, Every Unix-like system has at least one shell compatible with Bond shell. The program name for Bond shell is SH and uh, you can find the program for uh, Bond shell in uh, forward slash bin forward slash SH. Corn shell, Bond again shell that is bash and POSIX shell are few implementations of Bond shell and uh, there are in addition to these uh, we have many other. The default, the default prompt of a Bond shell is dollar. Uh, so whenever you notice a dollar, you can just consider that uh, is an implementation of a bond shell or a bond shell itself. So moving to the C shell, C shell was was the product of uh, Berkeley software distribution and it was developed by Bill Joy. The syntaxes of C shell were, was modeled after the C programming language. C shell is uh, primarily used for interactive terminal use but it is less frequently used for scripting and uh, operating system control. Uh, as C shell is having many interactive command, uh, this is much suitable for uh, creating an interactive terminal. And uh, we have TCSH uh, that is also called as extended C shell, which is the one which is one of the implementations of C shell and we have many other. So usually whenever you want to uh, list uh, the files on a screen, you'll just give up one particular command that is LS. So if you want to uh, perform some tasks and when it needs uh, two or more inputs or two or more commands to fulfill that particular task. So you would provide one command after the other. So in case of three commands, you can run easily for each and every time. So whenever you have some complex scenario and it needs some logic and also in parallel to that, uh, it also needs some set of commands. For example, we take 50 commands and some logic in order to fulfill that particular task. So it is very tough to give each and every command one by one without missing one and in order to handle all the scenarios. And uh, if you want to run this job daily or hourly, so it becomes a little uh, untidy task for us to handle that is we need to sit in front of the unix machine and we have to execute this every hour by manually so that's a big headache for every uh, developer or a user so instead we can store all this logic and those commands in a single uh, file so those files so this file can be executed every time or whenever you want to execute so this executable file is called as a shell script. So shell script is nothing but a simple file with the extension of .sh which, by which we can uh, recognize a particular file as a shell file. So .sh and which has an executable permission can call as a shell script. So why do we need a shell script? So as a regular uh, Unix user or a developer, you might have some tasks to be automated or uh, you might get bored of doing some tasks manually. So if you want to uh, automate, automate those particular tasks, then shell script comes for your rescue. And in order to accomplish uh, the very complex tasks, so we can use the help of shell script. And uh, if you want to uh, run a particular set of commands regularly or as per the hourly basis or for uh, 
daily basis or some weekly basis so shell scripts come to the rescue at this position too so we can group all the commands into a particular file that is called as a shell script so then we can pass it to the scheduler so where we can schedule the tasks by using it batch and uh, cron jobs not only these specific tasks but uh, we can do many miracles with the shell script but uh, as a shell is an interpreter shell programs run in an interpretive mode that is uh, one statement is read at a time they consequently learn uh, slower than those written in the higher level languages however if uh, speed is not a hurdle especially with the latest hardware uh, infrastructure uh, shell script is very fascinating language and it can do miracles so we'll now log on to the terminal and uh, write our first shell script before getting on to the terminal uh, let's see the steps to be followed uh, for the creation of a shell script so if you see uh, on the screen a uh, few steps have been taken so before creating the shell script we need to open the terminal that is a unix terminal so you need to navigate to the path where you want to create a particular shell script then uh, at that path we have to create a file with .sh extension so then using your favorite editor you can give the set of commands or logic whichever you want to execute then we can save our shell script and after that there are two ways to execute the shell script so one is uh, by using the shell name that is a bond shell or uh, whichever the shell you are using that shell uh, program code and then your script name and the other method is using dot forward slash in the script name so we now log on to the terminal and uh, write our first shell script we are now on the ubuntu terminal so here if you want to uh, check which uh, so shell you are using just give echo dollar and uh, shell this would uh, return the shell name on which we are currently working so it has thrown a message name forward slash bin bash so this indicates that we are working with a born again uh, shell so this is an implementation of born shell we would now navigate to a path uh, where we would like to create a shell script so i would like to go to a folder named uh, desktop so i'll just go to the desktop folder so i'll just list there are no files so i would like to create one file using our first shell script so i'll just give hello.sh so so my file has been created if you see my file has been created shell file so we now need to give logic for this we'll just clear before this so we now give the code to the our file that is uh, hello.ss so i'm just opening the particular file in uh, my vi editor so i would insert some data so before starting any shell script the first line would be uh, this that would we are saying the shell script to be executed uh, using this at the top it is called as a shebang the first line which we have written uh, on the screen that is called as a shebang it is written at the top of a shell script and uh, this is the one which passes the instruction to the program that is a shell program in order to execute this program in that particular shell so we are indicating the shell to execute this particular program using born again shell so we will now write the code so i'll just give a echo message so as in uh, all other programming language we'll start with hello world so right uh, we are again uh, starting with that hello world so we would now see uh, execute a command that is ls space hyphen l so this would list our long give a long list of the files available here so I will also check for the number of users available here or else uh, this would give the number list the number of users logged in so let's give that uh, end of the script here so this is the empty line which i would like to see on my screen so next we will give welcome to dot com so uh this is my content which we have written for this particular file so i'm just saving this so by default whenever you create a file it doesn't have an executable permission so if you notice on the screen uh, the space hyphen l uh, would give that uh, no 
executable permission. So we have to change the permissions before executing so that I'm giving uh, the owner the permission to execute and uh, the other users will have user and group will have uh, only read permission. But I just have changed the permission. So if you check it, check this again. So the particular user has owner is having the executable permission. So we can execute this in two patterns that is one uh, sh and next uh, giving the file name so that would give the output of this particular file. If you see this uh, hello world this is the output for uh, ls space hyphen l total 4 and the next line and the next line is the output of who command and next we have given an empty line using echo space uh, double quotes that would give an empty line. So next we have printed welcome to educators.com using echo statement. So my prompt has been again written. So the other way is uh, dot forward slash and next uh, giving a hello dot as it. So this would give the same output as earlier. So if you observe uh, it is none other than same. So this is just uh, creation and execution of the cell script. So for the form, the more information regarding the usage of functions and how to write loops and how to work with variables and how to make your script interactive uh, all these uh, topics are covered in the next videos thank you for watching our video stay tuned for more information